Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nelmar James Gado. Okay, continue natin yung problem doon sa previous video ko. Calculate magnitude and direction of the resultant vector by component method. So, may kita nyo dito, class, meron tayong tatlong vectors. Okay, vectors F sub 1, F sub 2, and F sub 3. So, vectors F sub 1 natin, 62 newtons. 52 degrees north of west. Then, yung vector F sub 2 natin, we have 28 newtons. Okay, 45 degrees west of south. Then, yung vector F sub 3 natin, which is 76 newtons, 34 degrees east of south. Okay, so calculate the resultant vector. So, recall natin, no? Recall natin, if angle theta angle theta starts with x axis. Okay, ito yung formula para sa okay, para sa y and x component. Dun sa x component natin, we have f cosine theta and sa y component natin, we have f sine theta. Then if the angle theta starts with y axis, so this one, y component f cosine theta and x component is f sine theta. Okay? So, yung given natin doon sa vector f sub 1, okay, makapansin nyo, ayan, okay, yung reference angle natin is malapit doon sa x-axis. Okay? Yung reference angle natin ay nag-start doon sa x-axis, yung 52 degrees. Okay? So, ang gagamitin natin formula is yung sa case letter A. Okay? So, we have F cosine theta, okay, para sa X component, and para sa Y component, we have F sine theta. So, we have 62 cosine 52, then 62 sine 52, okay. So, lumabas is 38, okay, negative 38.17 and positive 48.86. So, bakit negative and positive. Kasi kung nalala nyo, diba, sign ng coordinates kapag nasa quadrant 2 ay negative positive. Okay, negative sa x and positive sa y. So, we have negative 38.17 and positive 48.86. Okay, dun sa vector F sub 2 natin, okay, so nakalocate naman siya sa quadrant 3. So, yung magnitude is 28 newtons at uh, yung angle niya is west uh, 45 degrees west of south so nasa nasa quadrant 3 po siya okay then yung angle natin which is yung 45 degrees ay nag-start doon sa y axis or doon sa baba doon sa negative y axis which is yung south as uh, so, gagamitin natin sa pagcompute ng x and y component ay yung case letter b okay so, this one, we have f sub x is equal to f sine theta and f sub y is equal to f cosine theta. Okay? So, plug in natin yung value. We have 28 sine 45 degrees. Okay? Which is negative 19.80. And isa naman is 28 cosine 45 degrees, which is negative 19.80 also. So, makapansin nyo, parehong negative po. Ginawa kong parehong negative 19.80 and negative 19.80 kasi nakalocate siya sa quadrant 3. Okay? Yung yung sign natin ng, ng coordinates kapag nasa quadrant 3 ay negative-negative. Okay? Then, next one is yung vector F sub 3 natin. So, same case siya dun sa vector F sub 2 natin since yung reference angle natin ay nag-start sa y-axis. Okay, this one. Nag-start siya sa y-axis yung 34 degrees. Okay, yung magnitude is 76 newtons. So, again, we will use the case letter case letter B. Okay, if, if angle starts with y-axis. So, yung formula yung gagamitin po natin. Okay, for x component, we have f sine theta and y component is equal to f cosine theta. 
So plug in natin yung magnitude, 76, then yung angle, 34 degrees. So we have 76 sine 34 degrees and 76 cos sine 34 degrees. So yung sagot natin dito is positive 42.50 and negative 63.01. So, yung ating sign, which is yung positive-negative, kung bakit siya naging positive-negative, kasi nakalocate yung ating vector F sub 3 na, sa quadrant 4. Okay, sa quadrant 4 po siya nakalocate. Kaya ang sign na gagamitin natin para sa X and Y component ay positive-negative. Then, after natin makuha lahat ng X and Y component ng bawat vectors, kunin natin yung summation ng ng x component then summation ng y component. So ipag-add natin oh. So dito may meron tayo. Do sa x component we have negative 38.17, negative 19.80 and positive 42.50. So kunin natin yung total. So para sa summation ng x component we have negative 15.50. 47. Then, dun sa y component naman, ganun din naman pag add din natin lahat ng y component. So, we have positive 48.86, negative 19.80, and negative 63.01. So, pag add natin lahat. So, ang lumabas, negative 33.95 para dun sa summation ng y component. So, para makuha yung magnitude ng resultant, Yung formula is we have r is equal to the square root of the square of the summation of x component plus the square of the summation of y component. So r is equal to, okay, plug in natin kanina yung nakuha natin sa f sub, uh, summation ng f sub x at summation ng f sub y. So we have square root of negative 15.47 squared plus negative 33.95 squared. Then, kapag nakuha natin yung square non at yung summation, so kunin natin yung square root. R is equal to 37.31 newtons. So, meron tayong magnitude. Ang hahanapin na lang natin is yung angle tsaka direction. So, para sa angle and direction, so, we will use naman tangent theta is equal to summation of y component over summation of x component. That is equal to negative 33.95 over negative 15.47. Okay, so we have tangent theta is equal to, okay, kunin yung quotient. So, we have 2.19. Then, para makuha naman yung theta, okay, kunin natin yung arctan, both sides. So, theta is equal to arctan 2.19. Or, sa calculator nyo, click yung shift tan 2.19. So, lumalabas, theta is equal to 65.46 degrees. Okay. So, nasan siya? Saan siya ilolocate natin sa Cartesian plane? So, this one. So, kung makapansin nyo kanina, no? Nung, yung sign natin doon sa summation ng X and Y component natin ay parehong negative. Okay? Which is ito. This one. Yung negative 15.47 tsaka negative 33.95. So, yung magiging uh, location po nating resultant vector ay nasa quadrant 3. Okay, nasa quadrant 3 yung 37.31 newtons. Okay. So, palagi po tayo mag-i-start sa x-axis. Okay. Since nasa quadrant 3 po siya, mag-i-start tayo sa, sa west. Okay. So, 65.46 degrees mula west papuntang south. So, from west to south, Okay, so, or south of west. So, yung final answer natin dito is R is equal to 37.31 newtons 
65.46 degrees south of west.